In this video, I'm going to review the ETL website, stack it against the competition, and hopefully inspire you to create better web designs and make more money by selling higher quality websites. So if you want to know whether this website passes my truly professional website test assessment, make sure you watch until the end when I will reveal its grade and income potential. Hello, I'm your host Caicinho, I'm the Digital Alchemist, and in this new series, the goal here is not to focus on flashy websites that require an army of designers and developers to build. Nope. But instead, the idea is to focus on one website design that could be created by one single person or by a very small team. And this in order to inspire you and help you assess the quality and potential income of a website. So today I'm going to focus on the ETO website. So I found this website either on Web Design Inspiration or on Site Inspire. And it's this website right here. And just so we're on the same page, here is how I'm going to proceed. I will assess this website over four topics. First impressions, identity, content, and technical. Each topic will be noted on 5 points and the final assessment will be noted on 20 points. Now please know that this is my subjective assessment and not the universal truth, but I've been creating websites for a living for many years and I have quite some experience doing that. So let's start with the first impressions that can be broken down into desktop, mobile, tablet and versus the competition. Okay, so let's start with our first impressions on the desktop and Whoa, I really like it. It's clean, nothing fancy, but just super clean from the get go. Look at this beautiful font, use of the colors, everything. I'm getting ahead of myself, but hey, this is the first impression I was like, wow, this has been a long time, especially if you saw my video about the current trends of web design. You know, the, the sessions I have when I'm looking for nice designs are longer and longer. So it feels nice to land on something like this. So all in all, a very great first impression. Let's go to another page. Consistency, consistency all over the pages. Super clean. The icons, the quality of the text, even the images, everything is really clean and professional on this website. Next on the tablet, well, given the quality of the desktop versions, I knew that it was going to be nice on the tablet also, and it didn't fail. It's just the experience is really good. Does not feel like a cheap version of the desktop version, even though, as we all know, the you know the tablet is only going to be a few percent, maybe like three, four, five percent of people viewing the website. So it's good to see some love for such a small percentage. Next, the mobile version, and as you may imagine, it's super clean. Most of the people are going to see this website here on the mobile, and I liked the way they did things. Of course, you don't have old screen real estate by definition because it's mobile, but just like for the tablet version, it doesn't feel like a cheap version, on the contrary. And the font looks even nicer, even though it's the same font. But yeah, the way they implemented everything really works well here on the mobile. Okay, now let's take a look at the competition. I went on to Google and here are a few of the websites. As you can see, it's really like corporate generic websites. Branding is not that great. This one is very cliche for the uh, software website, but it looks professional. I'm just saying it looks cliche. This one, same thing. This one looks a bit boring, to be honest, but it, at least it's clean. This one looks way better, really modern also using illustrations. And this one, yeah, mm, meh. And this one, uh, nope. So in comparison, the ETO website looks way more modern with a very, very strong identity. So for all these reasons, for the first impressions, I'm going to give it a grade of 4.5 out of 5. Okay, next let's move on to the identity, which can be broken down into the logo, the colors, the fonts, and the style versus the target. Okay, so let's start with the logo. As you can see, we got this beautiful logo now. It doesn't have some text. I love typographic logos, but hey, all logos cannot be typographic. The question is, is it recognizable? You know, you want a brand to be recognizable. And I believe it is recognizable. It's a bit small here, but hey, we don't want those huge logos. This is the first thing that usually clients ask, can you make my logo bigger? And here they made the contrary. Just like Apple, you know, they make it really tiny because yeah, they don't need to. So 
yeah a nice logo not i didn't get the wow effect but i think it's recognizable and it's a nice logo okay next let's talk about the color palette as you can see they got this orange and then this uh dark gray that really works well together uh, i really love this color palette but more than the fact that i love it or not i think it works really well because it's a software company, but they want to show that they can be creative also. Because usually when you think about software, you're going to think about, you know, the typical um, nerd guy behind the desk that has no creativity here. They do software consulting, they build digital products, but it feels like they are creative. Okay, next, let's talk about the font. They got this font called Codec Cold. And same for this one here, Codec Cold, Codec Cold, Codec Cold. <laughs> and let me guess, Codec Cold. So, as you may know, it's advised to have a maximum of three fonts, big maximum, except for the new current trends that I don't really like, but in good design, usually it's maximum three fonts, two is better, and here it's one. And basically, I think the last three or four websites I reviewed had only one font, so another trend here. But as you can see, it's really consistent, and this font is absolutely beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, in my opinion. Okay, next let's talk about the style versus the target. And when you take a look at some other customers like Bayer or Shell or Kia or Deloitte or Deloitte, depending on how you want to pronounce it, basically they got some big brands and I must say that the identity really reflects that. If you're a big company, you're looking for a serious software development company, this really feels premium. It really works well with the target. So for all of these reasons, for the identity, I'm going to give it a grade of 4.5 out of 5. Okay, next, let's move on to the content topic, which can be broken down into navigation, quantity, quality, and funnel. Okay, so let's start with the navigation. And we got this beautiful full screen navigation. And when we hover over the elements, you get the sub navigation. So I repeat that in every video, but it's really important. As you may know, it's always advised to have a maximum of seven elements in the first level of the navigation, actually at each level. Why? Just because the short term memory doesn't cope with more than seven elements and don't ask me why. So here we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So it works well. And here competencies, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So looks like they know their job, right? Next, let's talk about the amount of content. And as you can see, there's a lot of content on this website. Just seven sub pages here, a couple of uh, sub pages here. Actually, there are projects, so you got more projects. So all in all, it must be what, a 20, 30, 40 pages, I don't know, website, I don't know how many projects they have. So there's a lot of content, but what I like, I just mentioned it, this in the navigation. See, as you can see, they got 29 projects. So yeah, it's gonna end up being a 40, 50 pages website. But what I like is that because they master the way of doing the navigation, and not overwhelm you with 40 elements, well, it works well. A lot of content, but well organized. Okay, next let's talk about the quality of the content. And as you can see, the pictures are really good. The resolution is good. And the information is well organized and structured very easy to find information on this website and once again the layout of presentation is super clean the text is well written and you would expect no less for from such a website but yeah it works really well when it comes to the quality of the content on this website okay next let's call about funnels or calls to action and from the get-go you don't really see those but then when you start scrolling okay say hi to us you start really subtle then it's gonna try to um, target you. So evaluate, innovate, and it's got a call to action for each and every uh, different goal here. So many calls to action. And then when you get to the bottom, you gotta book a 15 minutes consultation to check how we can help you. Let's talk. So it's in color, it's big, it's bold. So yeah, well done. So for all these reasons, for the content, I'm going to give it a grade of four out of five. Okay, next let's move on to the technical side of things, which can be broken down into speed, dynamism, interactions, and the use of trends. Okay, let's start with the speed of the website. And for example, let's go to career. And as you can see, it's pretty fast, even though it's got some images. So either it's really well coded, or maybe they optimized a lot. There are 
many pictures here. I guess there, there is some lazy loading, but hey, it's fast. So let's go to digital product, as you can see, almost instantly. And this is interesting because like I always mention, many companies use CDNs to optimize their websites. And for companies that have local clients, it's actually better to only invest in the CDN for the, the local territories where your clients may be. Whereas for a global company, like I guess this one could be because, you know, the software company, they work with big clients then they may want to have CDNs in more locations. So maybe that's why it's fast where I live, because as I always mentioned, I'm on the other side of the earth. So next let's talk about dynamism. So does the website feel alive or does it feel flat? So as you start scrolling, you can see little things like hover states and yeah, those little animations make the website feel alive. So not too many, but enough that yeah, it's nice to browse and you get those little cues like here the logo as you hover over it, here the little arrow. So those animations really make feel the website alive. Next, let's talk about interactions. And as you saw earlier on, here we got the goals. And when I click on each goal, the call to action changes on the right hand side. It's not the only interaction. I already show you the logo. When you hover over it, you get this Lottie animation. And basically not too many interactions but few interactions like this one once again the hover state well it's an animation and an interaction at the same time here you got the arrows and all in all not too much not too little a good alchemy okay next let's talk about the use of trends and if you know anything about my channel i don't really like the current trend where everything is all over the place but there are a few trends that you know when well implemented work really well like the gigantic font here they want to uh, shout the message clear and loud and super clean and it works well, especially because they got a beautiful font. For the rest, um, yeah, here we got asymmetrical design, but very well implemented. So for all these reasons, for technical, I'm going to give it a grade of 4 out of 5. So at the time of reviewing this website, when we add all the grades, it adds up to 17 out of 20, which is an awesome grade. Knowing that I consider anything 14 and above a professional website that you can sell for a higher than average price. Okay, now let's talk about income potential. Now a little disclaimer here. When we talk about income potential, of course, where you live really matters. Do you live in Switzerland or in Bangladesh, in the United States of America or in Romania? But if you factor in the amount of content, the beauty beautiful identity, the super clean and minimal design and the level of detail. Then you could sell this website between 5 and 25k depending on your sales skills. Here I'm talking in dollars or it could be euro depending on the conversion rate. But don't forget some people would never be able to sell this website for more than 500 bucks that with the same quality of course but they wouldn't be able to sell more than 500 bucks while others would sell it for a minimum of 100k so it really depends on your sales skills and like we saw a moment ago it also depends on your location because five thousand dollars isn't the same thing in los angeles and in bangkok that's the hard truth but i'm just giving you an average income potential now of course whether you create this website in six weeks three months six months or a year is also going to determine if it's profitable or not Let's say that this website did cost between 5 and 25k. My guess is that the company will be really happy with the results, especially when you stack it against some of the competition. Now, how would I build it? Well, it doesn't really matter if you outsource the development and code it yourself or use WordPress. Clients only care about end results and return on investment. Now, personally, I think I could build something similar with WordPress, Elementor Pro, affiliate link in the description plus probably Jet Engine and WP Rockets, just to give you an idea of the main plugins I would be using. But of course, you could build this with Bricks, with Gutenberg, or with the builder that you are most efficient with. At the end of the day, they are just tools. What matters is the end result. Okay, so today we reviewed a software company's website, but which type of industry's website would you like me to review next? Please let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video and my work, please give it a thumbs up because it's really gonna help the channel and it doesn't cost you a dime. And if you want more web design goodness, consider subscribing and smashing the notification bell so that you don't miss anything. I hope that this video will help you become a better web designer and sell higher end websites. So I'll see you in the next one and don't forget, I'm trying to build the content I wish I had when I got started. So I'll see you in the next one. And until then, take care and stay safe. Cut.